Welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today we're gonna talk about the end of the 2015, which is the end of the season one for the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen, and beginning of the 2016, which is the season two of the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. One of the thing that I learned from the season one is my self confidence. So it's a little bit hard for me to try to talking, but the but the English is my second language. So I be practice every day and try to be better with my speaking, so you and my fan can understand better. I want to know how I can talk with the camera with my fan. It's the same with I talk with my fan, my family. I have to learn a lot from that, so that's one of the thing that I learned from the season one is my self confidence. All the good comment, all like and subscribe, make me want to be a better and be professional with my cooking show. The second thing that I learned from the season one is the video quality. The That one is Joe, also the cameraman, and my husband. He can explain about the video quality for. You. Yeah. All right. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Joe. I'm the guy behind the camera. I do a lot of the technical stuff. Uh, so the first 34, 35 episodes of season one, we were using very bad uh, quality equipment. Our lighting was some old garage spotlights I had out in the garage, and our our. Camera was an old GoPro, which is great for outdoor action scenes, but not very friendly in the kitchen for cooking. Um, so we learned a lot by watching other channels and how they were producing their videos. Uh, three of our favorite channels is um, uh, Chef Julie Yoon and her channel, um, and Pai over at the Hot Thai Kitchen, and Mark Weens at Migrationology. Uh, I learned a lot from all three of those channels how they were doing things, and we kind of uh, started thinking about how they were doing it and incorporating the little things that we noticed into our own channel. And so, so at about episode 35 onward in season one, you could see we uh, were getting better lighting, getting better cameras, and and using better techniques in our development and, and filming process. Um, and below in the comments uh, section there, I'll have a link. To our web page, which will show all the equipment, the camera that we're using, the lighting that we're using now, and uh, for those who are just starting out or who are kind of like we were six months ago, really clueless about those things, uh, hopefully that page will help you guys. And so, yeah, a big part of season one was learning the tech end of things as well. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about the season two. The I will continue to focus on my Asian food, but also I would like to cook the Western food sometime too. And also in the season two, I will have the special video for you because I gonna go to Thailand in the April. I already plan to go to Thailand for two weeks, so you're not gonna see my cooking video for about two weeks. But when I come back from Thailand, you will see the special video, the trip in Thailand that I take for two weeks. I will take the good video, all the street food, all the food I eat, and all the place that I go. So that's gonna be the special, special video for you, and you will love to see that. Thank you for watching. A quick update: the end of the season one and the beginning for the season two. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you have a friend who like cooking, please share my channel with them. Thank you, and I see you with the next video. Bye. Today we're gonna talk about the end of season. Oh, okay. Welcome to the. Today we're gonna talk about the end of the 2015. This is mean to. Ah, I forget. Today we're gonna talk about the end of the 2015, which is. What's that, Joe? Okay, not not camera. No. Gonna be the beginning of the 2016. This also, which which is also gonna be start of two this Ah, oh. thank you for watching the. Oh. Can I say that again or? No, you don't need to say the whole thing again.